Hello there, people of God. Blessings. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I want to talk to you about revival in the United States because the winds of change are here. And there's definitely shifts and changes. So it's an amen. I want to talk to you today about revival in the United States. Who here believes that Roe versus Wade is being overturned in Jesus' name? Who here believes that Planned Parenthood is coming to an end in Jesus' name? Who here believes that Bill Gates and the Obamas and the Soroses, they're all getting defunded and will be destroyed and become nothing in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. I believe we are in a time and season of many, many to kill a parson. Joe Biden, your time is up. The writing is on the wall. The finger of God is stretched out against you and the justice and judgments of God are going to begin to roll like never before. Amen. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I want to talk to you about revival in the United States because we are in a very critical, crucial time in our country. And let me tell you, there's angels gathering in, there's intercessors gathering in, there's people that are flying in to be a part of this great move of God. Of course, this weekend, there was the send in Kansas City. I believe again, that was an essential meeting, gathering to birth things in the spiritual realm. But who here believes that God is sending you? Who here believes that God is ekbaloing you? Who here believes that you are one of the chosen few that God is releasing and launching into the deep? Someone say deep. Into the ends of the earth, the darkest parts of the world. And let me tell you, America, the United States of America, is probably a bigger, greater, more important mission field today than even parts of Mexico or different parts of the continent of Africa. So today I want to talk to you about revival in the United States. Amen. And in a few minutes, I'm going to invite my good friend, Pastor Prophetess Songhee Bay. And uh, it's going to be a powerful time uh, where both of us, we're going to revelate, we're going to share. We're going to talk about revival in the United States. Who here knows that Roe versus Wade is coming to an end? Who here believes that transgenderism, pedophilia, uh, sexual perversion, uh, indoctrination of our children is coming to an end? Can I get a hallelujah? Who here believes that God is writing a line in the sand and a line is being drawn and God is saying, choose this day whom you will serve, whether it's Baal or whether it's Jehovah, whether it's the false prophets of Baal, Jezebel, or whether it is Elijah. I declare and I decree that the spirit of Elijah is visiting America again. The spirit of Elijah, the spirit of the prophetic, the spirit of revival and awakening is coming to this nation again. If you believe it, give the Lord a mighty clap. I feel like praying in tongues right now, like I said, in a minute or two, I'm going to bring my good friend, Pastor Prophet Song He Bay on. It's going to be a powerful time. But I want you to begin to give us some hearts and likes. And let me know where you are watching from. Because let me tell you, this is going to be a summer of harvest. Some would say harvest. Of course, right now we're in the month of May, in the Hebrew month of May. We are in the month of ER. And this is the countdown of the Omer. This is the counting of the Omer. God is preparing you for Pentecost. God is setting you up for success. God is beginning to move and prepare things in the spirit. And God is turning things around in your life. If you believe it, say amen. The tables are turning. I said the tables are turning. Things are being turned over and things are being exposed and revealed in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, say hallelujah. I want you to give some hearts and likes and I want you to share this on your wall because today I want to come to you talking to you about revival in the United States. It's revival or bust. It's revival or death. Give me revival or I will die. Give me sons and daughters. Give me children. Give me revival. In the words of the great theologian author Leonard Ravenhill, he writes in his book, Letter Ra Raven, he writes in his book, Why Revival Terries. You need to read that book. It's one of my top five books. He says, give me revival or I will die. It's time for religiosity to end. It's time for revival, a great awakening, a move of God to manifest. If you believe it, say amen. So listen, I'm going to bring in my good friend, Pastor Prophetess Song Hee Bay, and it's going to be incredible. So I want you to give us some hearts and likes right now as we welcome the woman of God, as we bring her on here today on this broadcast. Someone say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Kira Branda, I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Is that a pastor, prophetess, song, Bay? How you doing, man? Good, good. How are you? My first time ever doing I'm doing wonderful. You know, it's been a long time since, you know, Facebook used to do uh, these, uh, you know, these split screens. So it's been a long time since I've done one of these on the Facebook platform, but I'm glad yeah. we're doing it today together. 
Yes, this is my first time. So uh, if I'm a little bit, you know, awkward, please I apologize in advance, but this is great to see you. Welcome. No everybody. worries. You know, we're, we're all awkward in our own way. You know, the <laughs> Bible says we're peculiar, right? So you're peculiar, that's for sure. I'm peculiar. <laughs> and uh, that's why we get along. Because yeah. peculiar people only get along in the spirit, not by the flesh. That's right. That's right. We're the strangest Koreans, huh? <laughs> that's strange. I forgot I was Korean. I'm much more kingdom. But anyways, you're actually right here in Orange County area. And this last week, you and I, we did vision nights from Phoenix to Gallup area to Albuquerque to Orange County. We did vision nights. And it was just so powerful. It was an outbreak of God. Talk to us just this last week, what we saw, what we experienced, what you sensed as we were traveling doing these vision nights for Route 66 Revival. Yeah, no, these vision nights in New Mexico, especially I really, you know, I'm really here in America because the Lord has given me so many prophetic words. Thank you, Lord. Hello, Pastor Song. You froze there and now I don't hear you. Okay, we hear you now. Keep going. Start oh, again. Do you please. hear me now? We hear you now. Yes. Come on, everybody. Do you hear me Get now? Hearts Share this on your wall. Yes, we hear you. Please go for it. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you know, um, I really believe that it's the time for short-term missionaries, missionaries to be sent within the United States of America. Everywhere in America, unfortunately, you know, America has lost its first fire. This is a nation where we sent out, well, Americans sent out missionaries in the 1800s, 1900s. It was a missionary sending apostolic nation. But now uh, the way that things, the devil has stolen all this destiny identity, all these things, it's time for us to really put, set America on fire. So last, uh, Last week when we were in New, New Mexico, you know, I was, you know, we were in the middle of a tent revival among the Navajos, and that was just amazing. And I just love the Native Americans. The Lord gave me a prophetic word about uh, two years ago during COVID, actually, that when true justice comes to a uh, Native American community, that God's going to open up the floodgates of revival. And I truly believe that. And so that's why, you know, I love partnering with Pastor Ben Lim and what you're doing with the Native Americans. And it's, it's a real, there's a real hunger there. And when we were in New Mexico, you know, we didn't know what to expect. And also in Arizona, there was such a hunger among the people. And they just purely want the miracle signs, the real thing. And so when we yeah. walked in, um, it was just like being home, to be honest with you. I loved it. You know, we saw people, signs, wonders, and miracles, cancer being healed, legs growing, um, deliverance, uh, so many miracles last week. It was so good. It was awesome. And of course, I mean, you said it felt like home because the atmosphere of revival is our home. We have to realize that a revival atmosphere, a glory atmosphere, that's what we're made for. And of course, it offends the religious spirit. It offends the flesh and it kills the flesh, really it crucifies us. But that's what we're made for. That's what heaven's going to be all about. And I live for revival. I know you're a revivalist. Pastor Song, it's so funny because you and I first got connected. Uh, I don't know, two, three years ago, right before COVID started, I was ministering in New York, and we got connected because we had a lot of mutual friends, even in Asia. I lived in Asia. Of course, you lived in Korea. So we had a lot of mutual friends in Asia that connected. We got connected, of course, uh, you know, we met in person. Uh, you invited me to do some meetings, and we ministered together. But when I heard you open your mouth, I heard the sound, the frequency of God, and I was shocked. And I said, this woman has got it. This woman has it. You got it. I said, this woman is a revivalist. This woman has something special. And since then, of course, last year we had the Gallup New Mexico Revival. If you were there at the Gallup New Mexico Revival, I wanted to say me and give us some hearts and likes. Amen. We were at the Gallup New Mexico Revival for three months. And we ended at the stadium gathering Red Rock. Uh, stadium and of course you were a major part in that it probably would not have happened if you were not there and then um, you know of course uh, now we're doing this Route 66 revival I'm so excited literally it's in it's less than two weeks away you know oh my goodness this big God dream vision is about to come forth and you are the coordinator you are the God ordained assigned appointed coordinator praise God praise God for Pastor Song taking on this huge project, this huge endeavor. But this Route 66 revival, I know many of you watching on my page, follow me. You've been hearing me talk about it, talking about the Route 66 revival. But I believe this is um, the mother road, a historic road, Isaiah 35, a highway of holiness in the United States where there's going to be a great move of God. Go ahead, Pastor Saul. 
Yeah, certainly. I mean, I, you know, Pat Sasser, Ben, you call me a main coordinator, but I think of this as a, as a strategy of war. I know I'm a warrior. I'm a general. I'm taking this on as a general of intercession. You know, uh, every revival starts with prayer. It's really our spiritual strategy. This is not about setting up tent events and getting famous people to come and do their thing. It's not a show. It's really a spiritual strategy to, to plow through this mother road because there's been prophetic words that were aligned to it. And then if it's not the Lord, why would we do it, right? So um, I really said yes to this because uh, people that don't even know me last year, they would send me messages about how they saw me uh, prophesying Isaiah 66 on Rose 66. And I know, you know, Pastor Ben mentioned it and I, I trust the prophetic in you and in me, you know, we believe that God speaks. And unless it's the Lord, you know, well, how can we do any of this, right? So uh, I truly believe that the mother road, there's significance. It's one of the original highways. When we plow through and worship, Holy Spirit, you know, casting out of devils, salvation, all sorts of things, you know, intercession, it's, it's, it'll plow through the roads of all of America. Um, like three weeks ago, I was in South Bend, Indiana, and a, a, a prophetess friend of mine, um, she didn't know I was involved with any of this. And uh, she said for two hours, I was preaching on something else. She keeps saying highways all over me. Like it was high, all sorts of highways around me. And she asked me, hey, I see, I keep seeing highways. And I told her, yeah, I'm doing this Route 66. And I truly believe in faith that when we uh, set up these tents in 13 cities and plow through, it's going to open up a, a, a Holy Spirit plowing road for revival in America in all different cities. Yeah. Absolutely. And again, the significant thing, again, you know, I'm in the West Coast. Why do I care about Route 66? Why do I care about the Midwest? All right, there's a lot of land, a lot of agriculture, farmland, a lot of cows, a lot of flies. Why do I care about hot, humid Midwest? Okay, I like to go to Florida. I like to go to Hawaii. I like to be in California. I like to be in the glory. But why Route 66? And again, the Lord dropped his word, his vision in my spirit last year uh, as we were, were, were doing the three-month Gallup New Mexico uh, revival with the Dene Nation, with the Navajo Nation. And lo and behold, Franklin Graham, one of the greatest evangelists of our day, evangelist Franklin Graham did a God Loves You Route 66 tour. And of course, this week was the send in Kansas City, which is along Route 66. I think this is very significant. These are signs. Everyone say signs. These are confirming signs that God wants to do something in the Midwest of the United States. And guess what? All right. Right now, 2022, I've prophesied. Many people have prophesied, market, business uh, strategists, you know, uh, people have been saying that there's going to be a market crash. There's absolutely going to be a market crash, okay? There's going to be a housing crash, a market crash, inflation's going high, it's skyrocketing. Of course, we just gave $40 billion of our taxes to Ukraine for whatever reason, right? So in midst of all of this corruption and nonsense going on, right, in midst of all of this going on, why Route 66? Do you know why? Because I prophesied this, that the 2020s will be like the roaring 20s of the 1920s. In the 1920s, yes, there was an economic boom, but there was also a Great Depression. So even this year, 2022 and beyond, there's going to be a recession. There's going to be a Great Depression. There's going to be a recession. Okay, I'm not trying to instill fear on you. I'm just giving you history, facts, and the prophetic right now. So as it was in the 1920s, so it's going to be in the 2020s. And so right now, what, what are we going to expect? Well, guess what? The Great Depression or the Dust Bowl, it took place mainly in the Midwest. It took place around Route 66. So there's a spiritual prophetic significance, I believe, Pastor Song, that as we tour through Route 66, as we caravan do intent revivals, revival, uh, signs, wonders, miracles, preach under the gospel, soul winning, as we do this, that there's in a sense a restoration of the land, a restoration and a revival of souls and of the agricultural harvest land of America. That's right. You know, it's time for church to get up and do something about all of this. Because I'm just, you know, I'm, I am a prophet. And of course, you know, I'm a woman. So I like safety. Women like to stay home. <laughs> 
<laughs> for me to travel through for over a month on all those things. And even this past month, I was traveling through all because I really felt that I had to plow in prayer. So I was just driving all the way from Chicago and I ended up in California now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you know, it's, it's certainly a time for, for us to move in faith because I've heard so many prophecies. Yeah. You know, we've got a lot of desk prophets. We've got a lot of famous prophets. We've got a lot of prophets who make money off of their books. You know, we've got a lot of prophets who are comfortable. But I can tell you that I'm not a comfortable prophet at all. And, you know, in the Bible, in the old days, prophets were never really comfortable. I mean, these prophetic people lived a prophetic life, which means that they lived a different life. I mean, John the Baptist was out in the wilderness, and uh, these prophets were kind of crazy doing things. And and I also believe that, you know, it is it is time for tr total, not just revival, but reformation and, and, and a new wineskin, new way of doing church, new way of doing revival even, new way of doing church altogether and and the lord is calling us to be the wild ones so i when i you know when i started off with this revival around 66 i'm just calling the wild ones the fire brands the ones that are a bit out of the box like hopefully like myself you know we might not be accepted in church pulpits we might not be welcomed yeah. in places but you know the, when we're out there doing the gospel really preaching the gospel baptizing people every night casting out the devil and it is certainly a time for deliverance I mean, the, the deliverance, we're really dealing with demonic forces. And, and uh, in this process, like I know the Tulsa, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State has been really highlighted as we move forward. And in Tulsa, you know, uh, God really gave me a revelation about Oral Roberts. And my father went to Oral Roberts University. And uh, I had a dream about Oral Roberts anyway. So to me, this Route 66 is very special. I feel like there's some kind of a mantle that will be passed on those people who come to this revival with Oral Roberts oh. mantle. And uh, I, I clicked on a YouTube video of an old preaching that Oral Roberts did in the 50s. And I happened to watch this little clip where Oral Roberts said, spirit of communism is really a demonic issue. This whole, because back in the old days when God raised up Oral Roberts with these 10 healing revivals, it was in the 50s wow. when communists were just, you know, doing all this stuff. And it was Korean War started in 1950, all the way to 1953. So so Oral Roberts just plainly told people, communism and this whole Cold War, it's really a demonic force. That's, de that's a demon that we're dealing with. We need yep. deliverance. And I truly believe that that is what God wants to demonstrate because we're not talking about politics. We're not dealing with liberalism and ideal. It's actually a demonic thing. And so the Lord is yeah, wanting yeah. to raise up powerful people who can have the power to deliver people from these false things, these demonic things in Jesus' name. That's coming to America. And I believe that our tent revivals will just be full of power. You might not be able to even walk into it because of so much power. That's what I'm believing for. Oh, yes. Well, again, tent revivals. Why tent revivals? I mean, honestly, we could, you know, we have so many churches open to us right now. Churches, church buildings, sanctuaries, beautiful, with the best sound system and stage. We have so many, so much access, open door favor to minister in different churches all around Route 66. But why tent revivals? Do you know why? Because this is God's heart. This is God's vision. We already know when the scandemic began, when the Corona Bologna virus began, we already know that, again, the way of doing church as usual has come to an end. Truly, there is a revival spirit and there are revivalists. There's a new breed that God's raising up right now. So again, these 10 revivals, even though it may be a, feel a little ho-dunk, it might feel a little, you know, not as comfortable. It might be a little outdated, but there's a vintage anointing within these tent revivals. And like you said, there's a restoration and a revival of the old mantles like Oral Roberts. Guess what? In the United States, the healing evangelists, the healing revivalists, my goodness, Oral Roberts, uh, uh, Oral Roberts, uh, T.L. Osborne, Jack Cole, William Branham, Catherine Coleman, right? I mean, uh, Paul Kane. I mean, these are great healing evangelists that rose up out of America. And again, this is what this call is with these tent revivals. I mean, there's gonna be some structure, right? Because the kingdom of God is not about chaos, but it's about order. But it's gonna be revival. When heaven breaks in, I mean, it's holy pandemonium. It is holy chaos, okay? And it's gonna be awesome. And that's what America needs. America needs revival. America needs a move of God. And that's what this Route 66 revival is. Honestly, this is the biggest project, biggest endeavor that our ministry has this whole year, okay? You already know, I love missions. I love crusades. I love stadium gatherings. I love soul winning, mass crusades, mass evangelism. But what about America? What about the United States? Listen, like I said earlier, the United States is probably the greatest mission field on planet Earth right now. As America goes, so goes the world. So we need genuine revivalist men, women, God, prophets to rise up out of America and to see this nation safe. A great awakening is here. 
A great awakening is coming and it's here. Why so? Because people like you and I, average normal human beings, we're saying yes to the call and we're saying, here I am, send me. That's right, that's right. And you know, I do want to encourage you because um, you know, I, I'm glad you mentioned the 1920s and the Roaring Twenties. And you know, I certainly believe that this is time for women to rise up. And I know, as a woman, as a mother, it's so easy for us after you get married, you have kids, you just want to stay home, like I said. But you know, this is the mother road, and that word really stood out to me when I started praying about this. I believe God wants to raise up the praying mothers. I believe God is raising up fathers and mothers who will war like a lion to get our children back. And I'm really believing for even like a children's revival throughout the tent revivals. We'll see families come. You know, we'll see uh, children dance. We'll see children's being delivered. And so I really believe that God is encouraging the families to join us as well. But I want to encourage the women to join us as well. You know, the woman, uh, you know, the Lord is raising us up. But, you know, when there's a prophetic word for me, God is requiring people of faith to respond to it. And sometimes that response means paying the price. Sometimes that response means doing something very radical. Unless we respond with our action and faith and sacrifice, how is God going to make it happen? The Lord is always speaking. But when prophecies don't come to pass, it's not because God lied to you. It's because we didn't respond. And so I'm, 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 we're asking the people who are watching this to really respond to this call. Yes, there were words, tons of words about harvest in 2022, revival coming. But that's not good enough. God is looking for those in faith who respond to that word and say, okay, yes, Lord, I'll go. Yeah, maybe my finances isn't good enough. Maybe I can't do this, but I'll go in faith. And God's going to totally bless us. I, I truly believe it. And uh, he's just, I know that he always blesses me when I step out in faith. And a lot of times being a revivalist like who I am, an intercessor, prophetic intercessor, we just walk into the dark, right? Even last week for New Mexico, I had a sister uh, in New Mexico who said, Pastor Song, do you want to try going to this reservation tent revival? We really didn't know what to expect, right? Pastor Ben had no clue. And uh, we prayed and we went and uh, we just saw something totally different. It was like a Pentecostal tent revival from the 70s. It was so good. But there was such a, a, a pure, innocent spirit and just a hunger for the Lord that just, God just did so much. And so I believe that, you know, it's going to be an exciting adventure. And I, I encourage you to respond to the words that God's given you. Absolutely. And again, many people watch right now. You know me, you follow me, follow our ministry. Uh, possibly you follow Pastor Song. I want all of you to follow Pastor Song um, as well. But really, this is the thing. All right, we are doers. All right, faith without action is dead. Many people don't know how to do, how to step out, how to obey. Okay, a lot of people are just lazy, entitled Christians sitting in the pews for years doing nothing. I'm sorry, that's not faith. All right, I'm sorry, that's being lazy, that is being apathetic. And the spirit of revival confronts the spirit of apathy, confronts the spirit of laziness, okay? And listen, yeah. I'm a doer, pro, uh, Pastor Prophet Song is a doer. We do, we go out. Jesus said, go into the nations and preach the gospel and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He said, go. He never said stay, okay? And it doesn't matter if you're a mother, if you're a father, if you're a grandma, if you're a granddad. Listen, we need the baby boomers too, okay? We need kids, we need teenagers, we need everybody. All right, don't disqualify yourself. All right, even if you got a cane, all right, even if it's hard for you to walk, you come, be a part of the move of God. Don't miss out. And let me tell you, you will get healed as you step in. Can I get an amen? You will become a testimony, not a testimony. You will become a testimony for the glory of God. So it's going to be incredible. And this month of June, literally, we're less than two weeks, two weeks away. You watch, people of God, you watch. In two weeks, we got a tent going up in Chicago. And the whole month of June, we're going to go down Route 66. Come on, Route 66. 13 cities, seven states doing tent revivals, miracle signs, wonders, preaching the gospel on Route 66. 13 cities, seven states for the whole month of June. We're going to start in Chicago, and we're going to end in Los Angeles, California. Seven states, 13 cities. We're believing for missionaries, full-time missionaries for the whole month. We're believing for full-time missionaries. We're believing for part-time missionaries, one week, few days, one city, this city, that state. But you don't want to miss out on what God's doing. When you see an opportune time, a Kairos moment, you need to say, aha, that's for me. Let me step into this. I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm not going to be a pushover. I'm not going to look back as I put my hand on the plow. But this is the now season. And I know right now we're two weeks away. So it may be a little bit of a late notice for you. But you should have been ready 
in and out of season anyways, right? This is what happens if Jesus comes like a thief in the night today, tonight, tomorrow, what happens? Oh, I'm not ready. I'm, ah, oh, shakarabana. You should have been ready in the spirit. Amen. You should have heard the call of the Lord already, all right? So this is for the hungry people, the radical, revivalists, the new breed, the wild ones, the wild horses that are ready to run and gallop and save souls unto Jesus. This month, June, you watch. Who wants to be a part of that? If you want to be a part of this move of God, give us some hearts and likes. And I want you to share this on your wall. Because let me tell you, this Route 66 revival in the United States, I believe this is a very crucial key part. And it is something that's going to shift not only the Midwest, but even the United States. Do you know why? Because this also has to do with the Native Americans of America, with the First Nations of this country. So I want you to join. If you're ready to join, if you want to partner, if you want to be a part of this Route 66 revival, tent revivals. I'm believing to see 10,000 souls saved in this whole Route 66 revival. And I'm also believing to see 1,000 people baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. If you're with me, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Go ahead, Pastor Song. Yeah, you know, I'm just super excited. Um, I, you know, when we move and launch in faith like this, uh, you get two different types of people responding. One group of people are like, Song, you're too late. It's too much money. It's this and that. But, you know, revival is never on schedule. <laughs> the move of God, you cannot plan a move of God. It go, a move of God yeah. happens, okay. a, a, a revival happens by people who are sensitive to the voice of God and who obey. So, you know, Come we're on. really doing this to, in obedience to the Lord. And we know, like, what could have been done, what should have been done, what's undone and all that. But I'm super excited. As we plan on faith, we have we are having great meetings in Chicago, Illinois. Um, and, and, you know, we have other sisters in faith and people in faith that are just being connected. And what I'm really surprised in the past month or so is that there are people who have been praying already for Route 66. They're being connected. And they're reaching out to me and saying, Pastor Song, like, a few years ago, I did a whole road trip on Route 66 praying. Come so on. they... They re it really resonates with them. And I'm getting messages from people who are high-level prophetic intercessors who've been praying for something like this. We want to partner with you. You're all invited. You know, we're all one kingdom family. And uh, if you are really been waiting for revival, I think even now your spirits are stirring up. And we really need you to reach out to us because it's going to be encompassing the new breed. And by new breed, you know, we got that, uh, that word from Pastor Ben's book. Um, it's a prophetic word that he got from one of his revivals. But it's basically saying that, yes, it is time for reformation. Yes, it is time for the new wineskin. Yes, it is time for the new thing. And uh, a people who maybe yes. have been rejected by the religious spirit. And, you know, I think what it, to me, God constantly tells me, so I'll get rid of your religious spirit, because I have it too. <laughs> you know, I have a religious spirit in oh. me too. It's so easy for me to I think religiously. Huh? I knew it. You did. I knew it. I knew you did. I'm just kidding. Oh, you, <laughs> you know I did. Yeah. So God say, get rid of your religious mindset and just go with the spirit of God. And so I'm just going through all of that too. You know, I break my mind, my own mindset, and I'm saying, yes, Lord, I'll be flexible. Yes, Lord, I'll just go with the spirit. So we're expecting like a, a really fun trip, and the Lord keeps telling me, have joy of the Lord. You're gonna have so much fun, uh, and just focus on the joy yeah. of the Lord. And and what joy, you know, just imagine souls being saved. That should bring joy to our spirits, right? I mean, we go through all this labor to prepare, but if I can see 10 people baptized a night, 20 people baptized a night, every night we're going to do water baptisms. And, and even this past week when we were in New Mexico, every night we saw so many miracles you wouldn't believe. It's like you follow Pastor Ben around and you'll see lots of miracles. The key is not to get used to it because that's also a religious spirit. You know, we got to have that Come fresh, fresh um, excitement, like Oh my gosh, how, because the person that's being healed of cancer, to this person, this is like a life-changing experience. You know, in one meeting, we had like 30 life-changing experiences and don't get used to it. You just got to praise God 30 times, you know? <laughs> so I'm just, I'm excited for June. I think every night it's going to be a blast. We're going to see people saved, ca cast out the devil. That's my favorite part, you know, casting the enemy out. <laughs> And then really encouraging the local pastors, because after these people get baptized, we want to connect them to your churches so that you can take them, you can disciple them. So every night we will have a gospel table in the back where we have local information of all the churches that are partnering with us. So the pastors can actually talk to them, counsel with them. And for two or three days that we're in the city, it's like a gospel festival. You know, they'll take them and we're just plowing through, you know, so I'm, I'm excited about it. You know, this is really a dream come true. And I believe this is a dream of God's heart, 
okay? It's not man-made. It's not conjured up, okay? I know when God speaks to me, and I know when God gives me a word, okay? If there's anything I, Ben Lim, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, if there's anything I am known for is missions and revival, all right? That's what I am known for. Of course, some people know me as a prophet or a prophetic voice, etc. That comes with the territory. But if there's anything I'm known for is to see revival and a great awakening and to see souls get saved. And this really is God's dream come true. God's been waiting for this. God's been waiting for Route 66. You know, uh, maybe about five, six, seven years ago, I did something called the I-5 Unite Tour, okay? We went from uh, Tijuana, Mexico, all the way up I-5, which is on the West Coast, all the way to Vancouver, Canada. This one highway called I-5 connects three countries, one continent. And we went, there was, uh, there was 11 of us in five cars for one month. We caravan, I believe we hit, I don't know, 13 major cities in the spirit of unity and revival. Miracle signs and wonders. We saw two children raised from the dead in Tijuana. We saw witches come to Jesus. Many souls get saved. And now we got the Route 66 revival. I believe this is a dream of God. I believe that this time for the harvest, for the old healing revival mantle of the United States, or Roberts, the old healing voices, the voices of healing to rise up again. So this is going to be life-changing. I know it's going to be super powerful. It's going to shift things in the spirit. And we need you to register. We need you to be a part of it. We're looking for missionaries. We're looking for volunteers, missionaries. We're looking for intercessors. We're looking for financial funders, sponsors, supporters. Listen, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done in the next two weeks before we start off in Chicago and uh, along the Route 66 revival. So listen, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Amen. And I want you to comment in the chat group if you are interested in partnering with us, whether in prayer, whether financially, or whether you're interested in partnering with us by going and being with us in the whole month, one mm -hmm. week, or a few cities, or a few places, amen? So if that's you, I want you to comment me in the chat group, praise God. And I just wanna acknowledge you and thank you for just even being bold, all right, to just publicly come up on the scene and say, hey, I'm interested, amen, and helping out in one of those three areas and being a part of this historic Route 66 revival. Listen, don't miss out on this opportunity. Don't miss out, okay? Don't be a bystander. Don't be a pew sitter. Don't be somebody who's just saying, oh, I wish I could do it. No, you, you can't. Don't ask, what can the kingdom of God do for you? Ask, what can you do for his kingdom? Crystal Ann, praise God, she says me. Chaz Armand, bless you, says me. Praise God. Come on, we need more than two responses, all right? I can even come on myself, they're me. Becky Brown says me. Thank you so much, Becky Brown. Hallelujah. Sarah Branda, Prophet Zivana, God bless you. Yes, yeah, so so Thank Pastor Ben, Lord. if I can mention um, how you can get involved and what, what I'm praying and envisioning is um, I'm really praying for 24-7 prayer covering for throughout from June 1st to July 4th. We're going to have intercessors from all around the world prayer covering the whole thing. So we need so many people, and we've already gotten a lot of attraction from people who are already awakened in the spirit, so they're joining, and I'm just busy raising up leaders right now. And I'm, I'm just, I just want to say thank you to those who did step up. We do have state coordinators. So just to mention, seven states and 13 cities, and we have a, a base in each city, and uh, we're setting that up already as we go along. And uh, Chicago and Illinois, it's being set up and people are responding because these people have been praying for years for revival. And they just hear one word about this and they're like, okay, we're, we're on it. Something in my spirit resonates. And so we're, we're seeing a breakthrough. So it's super exciting for me yeah. to, to hear these reports from our leaders. So right now we're setting up uh, leaders. We're, we're a little bit short on like Missouri, state of Missouri. So if you're in state of Missouri, Kansas City or St. Louis, please reach out to us. We do have local pastors that are partnering with us. But the more you respond, the better. And because of the time crunch and because of so much admin work, you can imagine it's 13 cities and there's so much logistics that goes in. We'd appreciate it if you can send us your uh, information or send us any inquiry. Just message the ministry, uh, reach out to us on Ralph 66 revival at gmail.com but um i just wanted to i just mentioned that you know um if you are living in these states and cities maybe we'll just go through the city names if that's okay pastor ben if you can mention the names of all the yes. cities we're going to do you want to mention the cities or do you yes, want me please. to mention the cities 
Oh, so we're, we're starting football. from Chicago. It's two or three days in each city. All the details are on the website, on the Facebook page. Um, Chicago, Springfield, I got to get this right, St. Louis, Kansas City, um, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, uh, Amarillo, and um, Santa Fe, New, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, Albuquerque, and Gallup, New Mexico, and then Barstow and uh, Los Angeles. So we're going to have a big finish Black in Los staff. Angeles on... Um, Independence Day. Oh, Flagstaff, Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm so sorry. I missed Flagstaff. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, you know, if you're interested, uh, send us an email. We're going to send you a pledge form. And this pledge form is a very simple form I have right here. Uh, but this pledge form, uh, you just have to write your name, all your information. And all you have to do is just be a sending missionary. If you, if you can't pledge financially, that's fine. Just say, Pastor Song, we'd love to pray for you. Then we'll, you'll be updated with all the prayer requests. We'll get you included in a Facebook group. We'll update you daily. There's so much going on. Uh, let me tell you, there's a lot going on in the spirit realm and in the natural realm. I'm super busy, so please pray for me because this is a lot. But um, the prayer team, or you can do a financial pledge. Uh, and uh, if you want to actually go on these trips, if you want to fly into one of these cities, oh, Pastor Song, I've been praying for Oklahoma. I'd love to go and experience the Oral Roberts mantle in Tulsa. You can just come into Tulsa for three days. And every day our schedule would be, we have apostles, prophets, teachers that will teach on a certain topic in the afternoon. And then we're going to send teams out to evangelize. And then we're going to get together in the evening for the tent revival. It's going to be a mission trip. So just, I want to emphasize that this is not... Um, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, you got to shift our mind. And, and for me, that's been easy because I've been to all different countries. And my mind, when I look at America, I see America as a field of missions. And that changes things. You know, I see where the demons have overtaken. You know, I see regions differently. I see souls. You know, I'm praying. I'm interceding. I'm seeing the stronghold. I'm asking God for strategy. So this is a, a chance for you to see your nation, if you're American, to see it totally differently. Okay, God, I want to be a missionary within America because Pastor Song and Ben, Pastor Ben, are, they're, they're accurate. You know, this is the time for us to plow and reach the Americans and revive America. So if you have that mindset, join us. Um, it's going to be a life-changing experience. My goodness. My life has already changed. I could feel the Holy Ghost right now. And honestly, Jesus said, don't rejoice that demons are casted out but rejoice that one sinner repents and turns to God. And that's when heaven celebrates. And I'm believing, I believe we're going to see 10,000 souls saved at least in the whole month. And I'm believing we're going to see a thousand people water baptized in the whole month. This is a huge endeavor. Of course, myself, I, I'm the pastor of a local church here in Southern California. Pastor Song, you have your own ministry. But we're coming together because it's time for collaboration. It's really time for unity. People talk about that and say collaboration, unity, but so much of it is superficial, okay? It's superficial, it's shallow, it's of the flesh. But who here knows that revival buddies, all right, are like the war buddies. When you are in the foxhole, right, in the midst of a war together, back to back, that, and you got 180 degrees. And listen, God's bringing the radical ones together. This is your time, this is your season, okay? So we need your prayers. All right, come see us, join us, be a part of this move of God. It's going to be tremendous. And when you start seeing stuff pop up on social media or even the news, because God said it's going to be on the local newspapers and the news channels. When you start seeing these things come up, you're going to get jealous and be like, man, I wish I was a part of that. You can. It's not too late for you. We start off in Chicago in two weeks' time. Let me tell you, as we start off from Chicago, the murder capital of America, as we start off in Chicago and keep going forward, the glory is going to get stronger and stronger. It's going to be like the Acts Church. The Bible says they grew daily. And guess what? All of a sudden, they began to multiply exponentially. This is going to be life-changing. So you get ready. You be ready. Be a part of the harvest. Be a harvester of harvesters. Be a part of the billion-soul harvest. Can I get any man? It's not about just getting a prophetic word. It's not about, oh, bless me, Pastor Ben. Bless me, Pastor No. This is about you. You be a blessing. You be activated. You be the hands and the feet of Jesus and watch the kingdom of God move through you in Jesus' name. So join us. Listen, if you want more information, go to root66revival.us. All right, the link is already pinned here in the comment group. You can have all the information, okay? Email us. The email's there. All right, you, you can get the pledge forms, sign up, pray. There's going to be updates there. Or you could even join the Facebook group here 
uh, Route 66 Revival, all right? So join the Facebook group. Check out the website. We need you. We need your love. We need your prayers. We need your support. This is going to be a huge, massive endeavor and harvest. And I'm super excited that God has allowed us to be a part of this great adventure with him. Yeah, you know, when we were doing the vision night in LA, Pastor Ben, I just want to briefly mention something that I, I had in my spirit I didn't share. It was actually a vision of like Avengers, right? You just said war buddies. So I just want to add to that because I know some of the pastors are watching, ministry leaders are watching. And how many of you know that the greatest uh, uh, stronghold against revival is disunity and jealousy? And, uh, you know, disconnect, you know, we don't really come together. I mean, just because you have five faces on the same flyer, it doesn't mean that your heart's connected, right? And I, I you know, I was in uh, the other day when we were doing the vision night, the Lord kind of reminded me, I love Avengers movie. I love superhero movies. And uh, what, you know, we have to kind of see, you know, Pastor Ben has a, a very strong gifting and healing evangelism. It's very rare to see uh, a man of God who can heal people like that. And then, you know, I have my own giftings. I think I'm more of a, a prophetic voice. I can, I can prophesy. I can see a breakthrough and things like that. But I, I, I heard the Lord say, uh, we need to, you know, get rid of jealousy. We need to not have competition. This isn't about whose ministry, whose ministry is being promoted. Who we're not, I'm not working for Pastor Ben. I'm working for Jesus. But we're like an Avenger team. We have a mission. We have an assignment. I'm after the devil. I'm after this demonic yeah. devil. And however we war together, it's like an Avengers movie, you know, like like the, the uh, Black Widow fights with the Hawk, right? And then they, they, they go on these assignments and Hulk has his, his part and uh, Iron Man is, has his part and Captain America has his part. And that's what I'm imagining. When we're in the spirit of the Lord together, we play our parts. And so we're looking for people who are free from uh, those things. And, you know, we invite the pastors, evangelists, apostles, prophets, the new breed of people who think the way I think, I think. There are a lot of you, I think. And I love for you guys to uh, reach out to us. We do have a pastor's information packet that we made for each state. We do have state coordinators. We're still looking for state coordinators in um, Texas and um, a couple more people in California if we can. But we do have, and in Missouri, like I said, uh, St. Louis and Kansas City, we're looking for more state coordinators there. But, you know, we're, we're, al we're almost there, so we're, we're excited about it. We will send you all the packets of information you need. The missionary effort, we call it the New Breed 100. I'm just showing you. <laughs> and I think our team is uh, pinning all that information. But the New Breed 100 is just another way of saying that you, you are participating in this as a missionary. So we set that apart for you. So we'll give you all that packet. Um, the, there's gonna be a lot of information that's being sent out. Please pay attention. When we come to your city, you, uh, two weeks before we land in your city, we're gonna have flyers, we're gonna have event bright pages that you can register, and we're gonna have local volunteers to come. And we even have some, some cities, we have so much favor, People have already reached out to me and said, Pastor Song, I live right by Route 66. I wanted to host people. And we didn't expect it, but they want to host people. So I know that, you know, the trip cost, the whole trip cost uh, each person $4,000. It can be a lot, but I just already sent such favor of God financially. People want to host us. And uh, just don't let the, I just want to say, don't let finances get in the way of you preaching the gospel. Don't let the, the finances get in the way of you being empowered because you're going to be empowered as you do this. You're going to be empowered as you're going to find your calling, those young ones that will come with us. It's going to be a massive, uh, just a growth experience. So uh, we got, you know, other pastors joining for the whole trip. And, you know, we will cover you as spiritual uh, mentors. And it's just going to be an amazing trip. Like I said, this is a dream come true. Again, we're not doing missions in Africa. I know a lot of us, we like to, you know, help the poor and the needy and the less fortunate in Africa. We like to go to Asia. Oh, the cute little Thai babies. Oh, you know, we like to go to Philippines or Mexico or, and build houses. But what about America? Okay, what about the United States? Have you seen how most Native Americans, how the Navajo Nation live? I mean, it's, it, it's like, you know, a third world nation there. Have you seen that? This is our own backyard. This is America. Who here knows that we need a move of God in this country? Amen. So this is a dream of God. This is a field of dreams. And it's going to be magnificent okay so we need your prayers we need your love your support listen i want to pray right now i feel the lord so strong right now i'm just under the glory but i want to pray can you pray with us right now all of you watching give us some hearts and likes and can you just pray with us right now because we're believing for the billion soul harvest and we're believing that this is a part of that all right it's not 
the whole thing, but it's a part of that, okay? We just want to do our part. We just want to be faithful unto God. So give us some hearts and lights and let's pray together. Lord, I thank you. We speak favor. We speak breakthrough. Jesus. I can't even pray, Pastor Sean. Well, you know, as, Matt, can I prophesy, Pastor Ben? Is that okay if I release what go I ahead, see? Yeah. I see people flying in from the East Coast of America. I see states like um, the, the Upper East Coast, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, Maine, these Vermont, these areas, these people have been very dry. I see God calling you. I see... I see people flying in from all places to join us. And as we get gain the momentum, they'll see some a clip from, from social media. And I see you deciding to fly in and coming. I think it's going to be like a snowball effect. We're going to start small in smaller numbers, but I see a momentum. I see more people joining. I specifically feel that even this Route 66 revival is going to impact the, the states that are heavily Democrats in New York City, New York State. Uh, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and these states, it's going to shake some things up. So, Father, I thank you that that is what you're going to do, that that this is really going to uh, confront the demonic strongholds that are holding Washington, D.C. In Jesus' name, I see governmental connections. Uh, in Jesus' mighty, mighty name, I see multi-ethnic groups. I see Chinese Americans, Taiwanese Americans, Korean Americans joining. I see African Americans joining. There's going to be racial reconciliation as we plow through. And uh, the Lord is going to bring different races together. I see new worship rising up in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. I see new expression of worship. I see artists. I believe that there's going to be business and everything. In fact, today when I was praying for this, this Route 66, God said, you're going to, the, mar, the, the uh, merchandise table is going to be so full because you're going to come up with different products as you go along. Like prophetic products, prophetic t-shirts, prophetic art pieces, prophetic music even. And I even saw like a live album being recorded after it's all done with all the songs that we wrote along the way. New musicians will come, come and merge. There's gonna be a spirit of unity. There's gonna be a spirit of family. There's going to be a spirit of coming together. And uh, along the way, I see pastors and, and ministers who have been so discouraged that we're under depression. God's gonna break the depression off of them. They're gonna find new hope. So Father, I prophesy that this will happen. Those pastors who've been plowing in their own region, they couldn't really do with it. And they've been oppressed by the, this demonic oppression of the region. Father, thank you that this Route 66 revival is gonna break that off of them in Jesus' name. Call them forth out of their caves now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Jesus. Jesus. If the spirit of burning is on your heart right now, if your heart is burning right now, I want you to give us some hearts and lights right now. Let me tell you, I'm so undone right now. I can't even speak. I can't even pray right now, okay? I can't, I can't prophesy. I can't do nothing because I'm just under the glory right now. But let me tell you, this heavy, weighty presence is what this is all about. From sea to shining sea, for as the waters cover the sea, so shall the knowledge of the glory of God fill and flood the earth. That's what this is about, people of God. I'm ready. But we need you. We want you to pray with us, to partner with us, to be a part of this. As America goes, so goes the world. So here's a clarion call. Join. Jump in. Get on the glory train. Don't miss out. Don't miss what God's doing. Jesus. Pastor Song, any last words? I'm so drunk in the Holy Ghost right now. I see some of you are watching this broadcast, even on replay. You have been very hesitant to reach out to us because of financial reasons. God says he's going to provide for you in amazing ways. In fact, God's going to drop some business ideas for you. There's going to be a breakthrough. This Route 66 is going to uh, plow away for Noah's Ark because economic crash is being planned by the enemy anyway. We knew that, right? There's something that's connected with finances that, that this, this revival is going to release a new financial system. So that's why some of you have been under so much stress because of money. Listen, choose Jesus. Just give, give us an honest feedback and God's going to work it out. I just have so much faith for finances. And it's not just money. I yeah. see resources. I see land literally being filled with the spirit and carrots growing like this. You know, how many of you know that when Holy Spirit visits a town, agriculture increases, you know, like, you know, like, the the farming just increases suddenly like the the uh oh. onion gets bigger you know i've seen those things these videos of how when revival yeah. comes sit down god literally increases oh. everything 
including the agriculture. I see that happening. I see even the Native American tribes and people that are connected, that are blessed through the survival, they're going to see, they're going to be the reformers of their nations. And there are tons of Native American nations, Cherokee, I don't even know, there's like so many of them. We're going to touch many of them. I prophesy, declare revival, reformation in Jesus' name among the Native Americans through this root system in Jesus' yeah. mighty, mighty name. Amen and amen. I see governors being affected in Jesus' name. People who are in the government being affected by this. People coming and doing interviews of Pastor Ben and, and myself and other pastors. There's going to be, yes, I, I see that media anointing. The things that Paul Cain, you know, Pastor, uh, Prophet Paul Cain prophesied about uh, billions or, or the, the stadium events and CNN interviewing. I think there's going to be interviews. People are like, what are you doing? Why are you doing no this? More and what just happened? Hmm? Yeah, the yeah, prophecy I, is no more bad news. No more bad news. All we see is good news. There's no more bad that's news. That's right. That's right. Dead raised. Father, I thank you. The dead will be raised in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. We will be shocked. God is speaking to us. Just get ready for surprises. Get ready for surprises. I receive it, God, for myself. Because I've been laboring for you for such a long time. Lord, I need some surprises. I need some surprises from the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. My goodness. I think that's all I My have for goodness. you. All the information is on the website. This Facebook page, we have a Facebook page for Route 66 Revival. Facebook page is probably will we'll update a lot of things. If you were pledging to pray, we're going to include you in the Facebook group, but you need to email us. The first step is to email us. I'm interested. I'm, I'm in this region. I want to get a pledge form. Email us at rousey 66 revival at gmail.com. Okay? That's all I have for you. My goodness. Praise God. Everybody give the Lord a mighty clap, and I want you to give some hearts and likes here. And please do share this on your wall. If you know anybody that is living around or around Route 66 or one of these seven states, or you know anybody who would be a perfect fit for something like this. They're wild, Holy Ghost, radical revivalists. They may be a perfect fit for this to join us. Please give them this information. Send us their contact. Jump into glory, people of God. We need you. We need you to be a part of this. Amen. Pastor's Prophet Song, God bless you. Everybody, keep us in prayer. Literally, this birth is happening in two weeks' time. It's going to be incredible. So keep Pastor, uh, Prophet, myself in, in prayer and watch what God's going to do. God bless you, Pastor Song. Any last words? Thank you so much. No, God bless you. I'm excited. Um, you know, the Lord loves people of simple faith. And, you know, all I have is faith, right? <laughs> and all we need is Jesus' approval. I just sense such pleasure of God. He will bless his children who step out. Amen. Praise God. Well, everybody, let's give it up for Pastor Prophet Song. Make sure, God bless you, woman of God. Make sure you register, okay? You register, you find out more information. Go to root66revival.us. Go to the Facebook page, please. Listen, you watch it, all right? Don't just receive from the man of God, woman of God. Don't just receive from our ministries, but be a part of the ministry, okay? Give back, sow back. Be a part of this move, God. It's, it's not even to build our ministry. It's to see souls one for Jesus. It's to see miracles in this country, in this day. Do you love America? Do you love this nation? Amen. Do you love the United States? Listen, we need revival, okay? Revival, Pentecostalism, the gospel goes hand in hand with a nation prospering. Look at the nation of South Korea. South Korea prospered and grew as a nation, as an economic power in the world because of the gospel, because of the Christian faith, because of Christianity. That's what happened with America. That's what happened with different countries in Europe. And of course, as they continued to get blessed, they forgot about God and began to worship mammon, materialism. But listen, we need revival in America. Amen. So I love you guys. Bless you. Thanks for joining. Logging on today. Someone say, all of America will be saved. I want you to comment that in the chat group. All of America will be saved. Amen. Be on the lookout for more updates, more videos, photos. I mean, it's going to be wild. Jump on the glory train. Get in the glory with us. We need you. Amen. God bless you. Love you. Please share this on your wall. Tag somebody who needs to hear this and needs to be a part of this. And uh, we can't wait to hear back from you. Amen. Go to root66revival.us. root66revival.us. God bless you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. We'll see you soon.